Okay, these are topic three, lesson one notes for Earth's interior, Earth science, pages 106 to 115. Again, feel free to pause this at any time to catch up, or you may want to rewatch re part of it. Okay, again, we're starting on page 106. These are the guiding questions. You don't really need to put these in your notes. I just like for you to know. Um, what we're going to be learning. So, how do geologists study Earth's layered interior? What roles do heat and pressure in Earth's interior play in the cycling of matter? And what are the patterns and effects of convection in the Earth's matter? Mantle, excuse me. Evidence from rock samples. How deep have geologists drilled holes into the earth? Twelve point three kilometers, which is roughly over seven and a half miles. So that's that's a big hole. What does this tell you tell us about the interior of the earth? The rock samples tell them about the earth's structure and conditions deep inside the earth where the rocks are formed. Again, evidence from rock samples. Where else do geologists get information from rock samples? Well, they get them from volcanoes sometimes that carry rock to the surface from a depth of more than 100 kilometers. Evidence from seismic waves. This is an indirect method. Earthquakes produce seismic waves Geologists record these waves and study how they travel through the earth. It shows us where um, the form, state of the rocks change. So form, in this case, means same, same as state, which means is it a solid, liquid, or a gas. This right here, this part right here, underlined and in blue, is a link. I will include the link on the notes. So you will have to go to the assignment to watch that. Okay, the assignment in Google Classroom. It should be attached along with these notes. So over here we have a picture and you can see the, whoops, excuse me. Let me get back into that. So you can see what P waves and S waves, what they do different. As you can see, S waves, I know it's kind of small, but you ought to be able to tell. These are the dark lines, dark arrows. They stop, okay, at, liquid, at the liquid, okay? P waves, on the other hand, will go through solid and liquid, okay? So that's one of the ways we tell what's on the inside of the Earth. Evidence from seismic waves. What do P waves travel through? Well, we just went through that. P waves travel through solids and liquids. What do S waves travel through? They only travel through solids. What are the three main layers of the Earth? Crust. Mantle, core, as you can see right here. Crust, mantle, core. And this is the last slide for the first half of these notes. Earth's layers. What happens to pressure as you get deeper inside the earth? It increases. We've talked about that in interactivities and throughout the book. What happens to temperature as you get deeper inside the earth? Again, have talked about this in interactivities. It also increases. 
and what causes the high temps inside the Earth? They are mostly the result of the release of energy from radioactive substances and heat left over from the formation of the Earth. So that is the first half of Topic 3, Lesson 1, Earth's Interior. We will finish these up tomorrow.